that you've, um, you know, moved quietly into the mood and mood of work. <laughs> All right. It's Life is Good. I'm Cordelia Obey. I welcome you to the program. Everybody. I hope you had a very good Easter holiday and I hope that you've, um, you know, moved quietly into the mood and mood of work. All right, it's Life is Good. I'm Cordelia Obey. I welcome you to the program. Here we celebrate life and everything that could make our lives a lot better. Last week, we started a chat with Lemmy Garyoku, who designed almost half of all the album covers of Bella. He shared his journey with us, told us how he met him, and we'll be continuing to discover how he now gained the international exposure he's enjoying right Right now. now, all on life is good today. Emanuela Wobo will be joining us from Baltimore, where she will take the concluding part of the topic the loneliness. I'd ask you to be still with me all through as we take this trip down the road of life on life is good. Hi, my name is Bobby, and if you can hear my voice, it means you're listening to the best show on radio. Life is good in French. My wonderful glow users, I want to drop this here while it is hot. If you have a glow line that's not linked to your NIM yet, this is your last chance to do it. Or you risk or you get unlocked. Yes, you heard that. Your line will be blocked. Pass the bar. Disconnected. Pick your tune. This is coming directly from the horse's mouth. Big what else do you stand to lose even as? Well, along with your ability to make or receive calls, send SMS, or even check your account balance. No more tweeting, posting, and chatting on social media. Dial star 996 hash now or visit the nearest Glow outlet or SIM registration agent to link your NIN to your Glow line and stay forever on. No NIN, no problem. Just go to the nearest NINC office to get yours now. Remember, SIM registration is free. Unlimited. Live is good. Let's take first right, perceptions, 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 and we are looking, and we are looking at loneliness with Dr. Emanuela Owobo, our psychotherapist. When you live in a world with other human beings, it's normal to want that interaction with them. It's normal to want them to see you as much as you see them. But when that feeling of loneliness is there, it's very possible for an impairment thoughts to come into the point where you're treating loneliness. It's just identifying that there's a problem. Because if you don't know that there's a problem, you can't seek solution for it. If you find yourself overwhelmed with the feeling of loneliness and it's starting to affect your daily activities, this will be a time to seek help. And if you have family members, talk to them about it. If you have friends or people you consider part of your support group, tell them how you're feeling. If there's anything you want to talk about, it, mental health related, even life stressors, don't forget to reach out to me on any of the social media and I'll be glad to help in any way that I can. Remember, every day that you wake up is an opportunity to make it work. Life is good. That was Perceptions with Dr. Manuela Wobo on Life is Good. Coming up shortly, our chat with Lemmy Garioko. His nickname is Life is Good. <laughs> you meet him shortly. Hello everyone, my name is Buki Akimoladu and you are listening to Life is Good. Aha! 
I get them before before no be property. Oh, if you get any grow line where you never link to your NIN, now your life chance be this auto link up. So you know go chop blocking. Yes, so Nigerian Communication Commission NCC. Don't talk say if you don't link your NIN to your grow line, then go block your line. Um, you know go get connection again. You know go fit run your business on your phone again. You know go fit call or receive call, send SMS or even check your account balance. So no let them cut you off. Oh, die star nine nine six ash now or we can go any outlet or sim registration agent when near you pass to link your NIN to your glow line and stay forever on. If you don't get NIN, just go to the nearest NIMC office to arrange your own. Remember say sim registration na free of charge. Oh. Unlimited. Life is good. All right, let me carry your quiz with us here right now on Life is Good. Welcome to the program. Yes, thank you, my sister. Nice to have you join us again. Yes. You know, one thing I didn't ask you last week, I deliberately saved it till today. A lot of people don't know where you're from. Uh, they don't. Yeah. You don't talk to Lagosha. You even they speak the Yoruba. In fact, safe. So tell us, where are you from? Uh, that question, eh? That question, you get that to be. I go just... <laughs> no, Mr. I turn to Lagosha. I've been Lagosha. They're born with <laughs> gigi. I live all my life here. Eh? So, waiting. Let me send, let me send my people. <laughs> my... My parents are from Agbo, Delta State. Eh? Both mother and father, they are late now from Agbo. So, ah, the journey of life brought them to Lagos. Abi. So, they had me in Agege, East South Street in Agege, safe, near Mochelashi Alaja, Songo area of Agege. <laughs> <laughs> so, and all my life, yeah, I've been to Delta. I, I can't even count with fingers in one hand so how many times you've <laughs> so, been to the yeah, so that's why it sounds uh, funny when people start to ask and then the name because of the Garyoku some people the GH they say are you Ghanaian <laughs> then I'll start laughing again <laughs> Yes, so that's it. <laughs> so I, I'm very sure it sounds weird to you sometimes when so you start hearing some of these people say, oh, go back to where you're from, go back. Uh, yes. Back to where? Exactly. That's mm. the thing. Filling out forms, they see state of origin, you know, local government. And they expect you to write the one of like your parents. Because when I fill forms now, it's Delta when they see state of origin. You know, and then look at government. Sometimes I have to call my sister. Ah, what's that look at government again? No, they say it casts out. So I say, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. Okay, last time we uh, we went through your journey, how you met Fela, you started working with him, and so on. Now, at the very, very point he told you to do a real album cover for him, how did it feel? How did it happen? Uh, yes, journey of life, like I said, predestination, our destiny is crossed, everything is for purposefulness. A couple of weeks after I met him for the first time, the he had the first police raid on Kalakuta. So it was big in the news that time, you know, even uh, nine o'clock uh, news on NTA. And then it was a weekend. So Sunday punch, you know, comes out on Sundays. So Sunday morning, I got the punch. Uh, fella was on the headline. Then, you know, I got a bit uh, curious and worried for him. So in the evening, Babatunde Harrison was coming to drink like always. I ran to him, uncle, uncle, how's fella? Is he okay? I said, yeah, fella is okay. That he's in the hospital in Lutch, Lagos University Children's Hospital. And, you know, his older brother, fella's older brother, Professor Oliko Ransom Putti was head of Lutch then. So Babatunde Harrison said to me, um, I'm going to visit him in the hospital when I finish drinking. Will you like to come? Of course, I don't. I said, yes, yes. So I followed him. We got to the hospital. Uh, he was in a private ward. There were like 20 people in his room, you know, like always. That's uh, his uh, lifestyle. So we started trying to move closer to the bed. You know, we couldn't assess the bed. You know, he was on the bed. Eventually, we managed really good inside the crowd, then got close to him. And Babatunde Aysen greeted him. You know, he was his friend already. So he smiled. And Babatunde Aysen pointed at me. I felt like looked at me and said, The artist. Wow. I'm telling my body, I just got some goosebumps, like, and everybody in the room just looked like, who is this boy, you know? And I was so pleased that he recognized me. You know, just after that portrait, too, I was really impressed by his uh, behavior, character. I was, it was astonishing because 
I expected him to be cowering, you know, somebody, and there was a policeman guiding the place. You know, he was still in detention, but he came for treatment. He had nightest stitches on his uh, skull. So he said, ha, ah, it was too easy for police to gain entrance to his uh, uh, Kalakuta. Because he had this barbed wire fencing. It's not a wall fencing, barbed wire. So they just cut the barbed wire and just sent her. So he said, he said, I'm going to electrify the fence. He said, next time they come, you go shock them, they go run. <laughs> Can you imagine? I was looking at him like, whoa. <laughs> and he said, I'm going to write a song. And that was the baptism. So a few weeks after he uh, you know, came out from detention, all that, he started composing the new song about that uh, experience. And that was my first time that I started going to Kalakuta. You know, I started visiting him. And I witnessed, you know, the creation of the song and all that. Then long story, eventually when he recorded, you know, because of time, I don't want to give too much details. It will take all the time, yeah. So he recorded it and, and now said, let me, let me see what you can do for this cover. And that was the first opportunity. Wow. I just grabbed it. <laughs> so I did the artwork. And the same thing again, he said, wow, you know that word. <laughs> Then this time, he gave me a check for 120 naira again. So I collected it because I earned that one. You know, the first time, I, re I refused the money. But this time, yeah. So, and that was the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And one wonders, how come the rest, he didn't do the rest? Was it that we, he wanted new spies? Or by that time, you guys drifted apart? Give me an idea of how it eventually all, in quotes, ended. Um, yeah, I guess... Uh, like I believe in destiny so much. Yeah, um, it was the end of the road for the journey. But specifically, um, I think we grew apart. We grew apart. Yeah, I think that's right too. But we we got into a clash of egos, and, and you know and that was what brought the separation and the breaking transmission for eight years. We reconnected later, but that time, you know, the, it wasn't uh, that friendship camaraderie kind of thing anymore it was just business arrangement because um his younger brother was handling his uh, affairs uh when he went to jail so by the time he came out of jail uh, his younger brother dr becker and some putty was in charge like managing him in a way so if they had a particular song that they felt it was you know something that oh it's let me that can do this so dr becker and some putty will send their dispatch rider with a letter i still have one of the letters and mm. and that that you know that really um, um, got me really pleased for my own stature also that you know they showed so much respect even even you know uh, when we were not close anymore so it was business relationship we had at the end so I still designed a couple of covers based on invitation a particular one that I felt like oh let me should do this one so yeah that's it. Mm. Can you remember the last one you did? Oh, the last one I did was um, um, just like that. Just like that. Just like that? Yes, just like that. Okay, yeah. okay. All right. Stop indiscriminate felling of trees. Dispose of refuse properly and not in our gutters. This block drainages find their way into our waterways and cause flooding. Nature is there to protect us. Let's reciprocate by also protecting nature. Climate change is real. Let's live in harmony with nature. Mobile number will be gone. Don't let this happen to you. Act now and save your precious mobile number. Just dial star 996 hash to check your NIN linking status, follow the steps, and visit any of our Glow outlets or SIM registration agents close to you. You could also visit the NIMC office close to you to get your NIN registration done. Make sure your number is safe and secure. Don't delay. Do it today. Remember, SIM registration is free. Unlimited. Life is good with Cordelia. So, at what point did the international break come in? Because I know everywhere in the world, when they talk about Afrobeat, somehow your name must come in. Most of the cult movements of Afrobeat, at least I know the very first trip to the US yes. was made you for an there. exhibition. <laughs> yes, yeah. an exhibition you were having in uh, New York City. We went for that exhibition. 
It was grand. It was a lovely one. And I saw how everybody were like, oh, oh. They were ooing and ow, you know. <laughs> you know, it was the first time I had people call me legend. Oh, yeah. You know, and you know how it is. Even though you go for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> I said, yeah. Me, where I did show Molu the print uh, paper, I didn't do printing. <laughs> so, how did that international bit of it come into play? Um, Destiny, all the same. Uh, what happened was after I broke up with Fela, immediately I I decided I need to build my brand. So the first two years after I broke up with Fela, I used to see me with clients. They used to call me Fela artist. Everybody used to call me Fela. Artist. <laughs> so they call me Fela. I say no, no, no. I'm not Fela artist. I'm my my own self artist. Ah, they say ah, let me. What's the problem? Ah, you are Fela fight. I said no, no. I no be Fela artist. I be myself artist. <laughs> So I started working assiduously, you know, building my brand. I had a great opportunity uh, to work with Polygram Records um, for 11 years without being employed. I refused to be employed. My last paid employment was when I was 21 years old in 1976 at uh, advertising company ProMark International. And Fela had advised, you know, I can still, I can work on my own I can, and I love my freedom. So I never till today. I never uh, took any paid employment. So my godmother, Chief Mrs. Keji Okunowo, uh, was at a polygram. She had met me at the shrine when uh, she came for the launch of a Monkey Banana album, which was released by Phonogram. Phonogram um, became polygram. Yeah, so, so by the time I, I broke up with Fela, I went to see her. She had always invited me to come. She would give me some job, but you know, I didn't have time. <laughs> So when I now had time, I went and she, and she don't give me the opportunity. So I started designing. I became in-house designer, uh, designer at large for Polygram Records. So I go there like every, twice a week. I, I designed uh, possibly about 80% of all the album covers that time. was I did be, yeah, all those stuff I designed. Let's call some of yeah. them now. You design practically all Blacky, Rasky, Long. Uh, yeah, so Evied now Goni, uh, Mike, Mike Jaga, Imao Gosi, oh. Alex O2. Yes, yes. When Polygram later became Premier, right? Yeah, Alex, Alex O was there. Um, baby Wala Colombo, what's his name again? Um, ah, eh? Alex Z. Alex Z. Oh, because of the Alex that I try to remember him. <laughs> yes, I've done over 2,000 album covers in my career. I'm telling you, over over 100 musicians. So, and I and I know even for the uh, more current ones, you did for people like Files. Yes, um, yeah, I don't know, yes. Face. Yes, I did uh, Two Face uh, VCD cover because um, another 11 years. I spent designing and printing CDs, uh, CD jackets for um, Kenny's music. It was CD age um, in the 90s, early 2000s, uh, till 2010, I think, yeah. I designed and printed most of Kenny's music. I actually printed like 100%, 100% of all the CD jackets for Kenny's music. But I designed like 90% because um, some individuals like uh, Two Fees first album was designed by his friend in uh, Ofesta Sound Sultan I designed Sound Sultan Tony Tetula Idris Abdul Karim uh, uh, all, all of them <laughs> I got to this yes, yes, yes. from then till now we don't do VCDs anymore we don't do CDs no more and all that you're not painting for Vela anymore I mean doing sleeves so, so what are you up to now just exhibitions and what? Yes, I now went into the visual art industry. I wasn't in the visual art industry originally. You know, I was with the music industry. I was doing things for musicians and so on. Then I ran a printing business in Shombolu for 25 years. But when the statue of Fela started growing, you know, from that exhibition that we witnessed in 2003, after that, America started knowing Fela. You know, America controls the media <laughs> everywhere. So, Fela statue started growing and growing. And by the same uh, logic that, you know, everybody knowing Afrobeat knows that it's a combination of a great music and a great art accompanying it. Because a lot of people uh, will tell me elsewhere um, that it was the art, the artwork that attracted them to even pick up a Fela album in the first place. 
you know, things like that. When so I started seeing the benefits of that my visual art impact. So I decided I was going to go uh, fully uh, into art. So I started doing the exhibition route, um, so galleries and so on. Um, I started in 2008 officially. So it's been 16 years now and the journey has been really great. But by the same token, uh, technology changed the music industry from vinyl records to CD, you know, cassette and uh, VCD and all that. Now it's uh, streaming. So even this age of streaming, there's a resurgence of collectors, you know, going back to LPs. So most of the very successful artists still do releases on LPs. So I still get commission to do some covers. You know, yes, even as I speak to you, I have two covers on my table right now. One from a band in Amsterdam and one for from a company in Los Angeles in the US. It's actually um, another fella kind of compilation. So I still do covers. And um, in recent memory, with the industry, we have um, the, the young Afrobeats industry. Uh, Files, you know, commissioned me. I did nine artworks of Files' this album, Moral Instruction, in 2019. And I've done a couple of album covers for, you know, lesser known artists. Uh, even some are unknown, but I, I still do covers every year. I still do sometimes maybe about four covers uh, um, in a year now. Uh, but it's on a global level. So... Even as I speak, there's a big commission coming from one of the top three Afrobeats artists in Nigeria. The top three, one of them, I'm telling you. <laughs> so, yes, yes. That's it's cool. not like my team cool. like now. So, here. Yes. Nice. Stop indiscriminate felling of trees. Dispose of refuse properly and not in our gutters. These block drainages find their way into our waterways and cause flooding. Nature is there to protect us. Let's reciprocate by also protecting nature. Climate change is real. Let's live in harmony with nature. This message is from Development Agenda Magazine. Okay, man, Lemo, for you to bet life is good as the neat name, that means your philosophy about life is we'll take it one day at a time and just live life yes i i just paraphrased what i think so you tell me what it truly is with you how do you live life for people to even see that you feel and believe that life is good no matter what yes um i keep a very positive attitude to life i'm an eternal optimist I never give up on anything. Even our country, I will never give up. On our continent, I will never give up. The renaissance is coming. We just have to stay focused and work assiduously to it. So, whatever happens, whatever comes, there's nothing new under the under the sun. Right now, the economy, inflation and so on is on. But if you listen to Fela, if he has sang songs about SCP, Structure of Adjustment Program, during Babangi that time, people's mood was exactly like this. Even second tier, in the late 80s, it was same thing. Um, there is a song, Fela San. People could go listen to the lyrics. You will think it's today that he just composed that song. Is um, the song is um, overtake, don't overtake, overtake. Where he talked about his friend who was a civil servant, wanted to buy a fan for his role. Yeah, 70 naira. Try saving money, save under portmanteau inside the kitchen, inside porch. He's saving money, saving money. By the time he got the 70 naira, he got to the market, the fan had gone to 200 naira. He started saving again. By the time he got to 200 naira, the fan had already 700 naira. It's exactly what's happening right now. <laughs> so, life is always good. Keep that attitude. Your glass is either half empty or half full. Optimist is always half full, so you try to fill it up to be full. Pessimist is half empty, so that negativity will empty that cup. So, that's my philosophy. 
So just mm. keep it simple. K I S S. Keep it simply simple. Like kiss. Mm. <laughs> Thank you yes. so much. That's a beautiful point to stop. I will conclude this session I've had with you. Man Lemo, it's been a delight speaking with you. Thank you so and much. And I'm wishing you all the best. And same to you too. Yes. More international breakthroughs. Yeah, big up yourself. Big up yourself. And so sister. on. <laughs> Let me Garyoku has been my guest these two weeks on Life is Good. Be optimistic. That's what Let me just told us and it is true let's see the glass as half full never half empty and let's see how far we can go in this journey of life on a good note no matter how the odds are just keep life and hope alive thank you lemmy garyoku for being our guest today on life is good thank you thank you very much thank you this is Life is Good. I'll be back shortly. Hey, everybody. This is Dari. Dari. Chilling with Cordelia Okwe. Right here on Life is Good. Life is Good. My wonderful glow users, I want to drop this here while it is hot. If you have a glow line that's not linked to your NIN yet, this is your last chance to do it or you risk getting blocked. Yes, you heard that. Your line will be blocked, cancelled, barred, disconnected. Pick your choose. This is coming directly from the horse's mouth. The NCC. What else do you stand to lose, you may ask? Well, along with your ability to make or receive calls, send SMS or even check your account balance. No more tweeting, posting and chatting on social media. Dial star 996 hash now or visit the nearest glow outlet or sim registration agent to link your nin to your glow line and stay forever on no nin no problem just go to the nearest ninc office to get yours now remember sim registration is free unlimited life is good with cordelia Okay, I don't have any other thoughts for the week at all. That one let me drop to us is enough. Stay optimistic. See the glass as half full, not as half empty. It helps you to live a brighter, better life too. That is just the truth. I'm Cordelia Obe. Thank you so much for being a part of Life is Good this week. I'll see you next time. Till then, take care of yourself and be good. Bye-bye. Life is good It could be your school on radio. It could be your life on radio. We are 